Okay guys, we've got a couple MITS canopies in the driveway today for electrical installs, or for the week actually. So we're just gonna run through this one quickly. Stay tuned for the one in the background there, that nice black custom painted Triton with a MITS canopy. We're just gonna run through this one now. So he's gone for a carpeted panel. He likes to look at the carpeted panel there. So we've gone for that setup with a Anadrive DC to DC 40 amp charger. 125 amp hour lithium and a drive battery there. Um, we've got a fuse box up there, all the circuits labeled, so he knows exactly what's going on. Um, and some bigger fuse holders there, MIDI fuse holders for the charger and also for his Anderson plugs over there and the inverter. So we've got a um, shunt there, you can see that's the ePower Pro battery monitor, which is located over there beside the inverter as well. Um, right here, we've got just a few socket so one's going to be his fridge angle fridge socket 12 volt socket dual usb and also some lighting so you can see we've got some lights out there and also some canopy door lights um, and that's on all three doors so we'll just run around the other side show you what we've got over here so 400 watt pure sine wave inverter so if we walk back here you're going to see this is going to be his charging station he'll be charging laptops tools that type of thing through that inverter um, we've got two anderson plugs one's going to plug be a plug for his portable air compressor and another one for a travel buddy and a few more sockets dual usb 12 volt and some more light switches another one outside work light and the two other doors and we've got our battery monitor here. So the ePower Pro battery monitor, great monitor for just monitoring your battery banks if you've got a lithium battery bank. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good option. I'll just run around the other side and show you out the side of the canopy. So that's where we've exited the canopy here and you can see we've got a port there for portable solar. So I've got a blanket plugged in there now. So if we pull that out, just a nice waterproof cover that stops any mud and gunk from getting into the Anderson plug. So then we can just go and plug our portable solar back in. That's good to go. So there we go, here's our little canopy electrical setup on this one. Stay tuned for the Triton out the back, I'll give you a little sneak peek. So this guy is getting a bit more excessive setup. We've got an Enerdrive Explorer in the background there. There's gonna be another face board down the back where he's gonna have a thousand watt inverter, charging station similar to the last one over there. So it'll be charging on top of this. That drawers will be over there. That face plate will have um, extra panels, um, extra sockets, thousand watt inverter. Um, some rear lights will be going on the back, work lights. So we'll cover this one in the next video. Stay tuned.